and welcome to Beatty Farms. I'm Brandon Witt, and this is my wife, Catherine, our daughter, Emmeline, Mary Corinne, and our son, Thomas. And we are the 2013 Young Farmers for Rutherford County. We farm around 1,900 acres of row crops, a feral to finish hog operation, retail pork sales, strawberries and hay in the Blackman community near Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We are an eighth generation family farm. Our farm dates back to 1807. The largest part of our operation consists of row crops. We raise uh, corn, soybeans, wheat, and milo. Uh, we raise about 1,700 acres of row crops annually. Uh, it try to run about a half and half mixture between corn and, and beans. This year uh, we will actually uh, harvest all our corn that goes to shelled corn. Uh, we feed a large portion of that to our hog operation. Then we'll sell uh, the rest of that uh, to local elevators, local processing facilities. We'll custom chop about 50 acres of silage for a local dairy uh, close to us that we've worked out a relationship with. This year we're real heavy on soybeans. We've got about 900 acres of early soybeans. Uh, most of those will be early uh, to mid four variety. All our soybeans uh, typically go down to Decatur, Alabama, where they go to a crushing mill and, and in turn go back out as uh, soybean mill. Over the last couple of years, we've uh, been playing around with some Milo, and we've actually added that to, on a larger scale this year. Um, where we're taking the Milo, we're actually gonna supplement that uh, uh, corn ration in our hog feed, we're gonna supplement that with Milo. We've just finished up with wheat harvest this year. We've had uh, a really good wheat harvest. Uh, thought we had a lot of rain early that was gonna hurt us on yields, but uh, actually once we started getting into the fields and seeing what wheat was gonna do, it actually turned out to be a, a really good year for that wheat. Uh, we had about 260 acres of wheat that we just finished. Here on the farm we raise uh, 60 sows. We're a 60 sow feral to finish operation. And we take all of those uh, market hogs, which we market about a thousand hogs annually. And uh, over the last few years, we've been able to develop uh, enough markets that, that we're actually selling every hog uh, straight off the farm here through our retail shop uh, that we're just about to open here full time. We've got a retail store on the farm and we've partnered with a lot of different restaurants in and around Murfreesboro and Nashville. We make over 20 different sausages and several different cuts of meat that, that we market on a daily basis. And we raise about 275 acres of hay. Most of that primarily goes into small square bales uh, that we market uh, locally to the horse industry here in Middle Tennessee. And we raise a combination of Bermuda grass, alfalfa, orchard grass, and some mixed hay. Uh, this year on the farm, we added uh, pick your own strawberry patch. We started this year with about three acres of strawberries that we had located um, right behind the Chamber of Commerce here in Rutherford County and across from a major conference center. Really took off with the strawberries. Uh, we added up as our, our traffic throughout the season had over 34,000 visitors into the strawberry patch this year. I don't know that I would be the farmer that I am today if it wasn't for young farmers and ranchers. Young farmers and ranchers on a daily basis holds me more accountable for what I do who I am and, and, and how I portray myself to the general public. So it's just a tremendous blessing to have that program so vital in Tennessee that we're able to share that with not only our local uh, consumers here and our friends and neighbors, but on a national level.